Hello everyone, it's me, Stephanie Lee, Evidential Medium, here doing my book review, Back with Unfinished Business by James Van Prague. Um, again, I'm going to say it, my favorite book. I love it to death. <laughs> ha ha. Um, so this week we're going to talk about Do Unto Others, and it's mostly about the blame game. Um, it's unfortunate that some people can't find it in their hearts to be more loving. So this is where that conflict exists. They would rather blame someone else for all their mistakes and all their problems than take responsibility for their actions. Especially when they say, it's all your fault and they're pointing at you, but really there's three fingers pointing back at themselves. Like, oh no, it's really the, your fault. It's not their fault. Take responsibility for your action. It will diffuse the situation. Yes, I did that. And then you can go on. But in this reading that James has with a woman whose parents have crossed over, she blames her parents for everything that went wrong in her life. Everything that's gone wrong, it's all her parents' fault. She felt like she just wasn't loved enough. And when her father came through, he told her how much he loved her. And she just didn't believe that. She didn't believe it at all because she'd never heard him say that he loved her. So she didn't feel that love. And the reason why he didn't do that is because he didn't love himself enough. So he wasn't able to give that love to others. So it kind of goes up the line. I mean, like how did he, how was he treated from his parents? Maybe they weren't able to show him love. And so he didn't know what that was like. And so then he didn't feel love from them. And so he didn't feel like a loving person that could then pass that on. Um, so she didn't feel that her parents loved her. And really the issue was that she didn't love herself. So it doesn't, it's all based on you needing to love yourself. That no one else, you don't need anyone else's love. You need your own love. How are you going to take care of you? How are you going to <clears throat> make yourself feel loved? Um, so their message was that they're helping her from the other side to believe in herself and to love herself and to follow her dreams. She was an artist. She just didn't know if she could follow that path as an artist. She didn't believe in herself enough to follow that path. And so now knowing that her parents that are, they're on this other side, they're encouraging her, her, they're loving her, she can now step into her power and know that she can love herself enough to take that art, art, artistry and move forward in her life. So moving on to forgive and forget. So this story is about a pair of twins. Um, and they had this strong connection in this life and they had a strong con connection in their previous life. So in their previous life, um, they lived in South Africa. They were a very wealthy family who um, their business was in diamonds. And one of the sisters stole all of the family diamonds and left the other sister and the father in, to become destitute. So when they came back in this life, they were supposed to learn that we don't do that to our sisters and our family. And they wanted to come back and see if they could overcome that this time and learn their lesson. But that didn't happen. <laughs> so what happened was one of the sisters had passed. Um, and before she'd passed, she stole her mother's diamond bracelet. So still evolving around the diamonds. Um, the diamond bracelet from her other sister. And so that created a huge rift in their relationship. Then they passed and she was like, she stole mom's bracelet. And so they still didn't heal in this time. So her sister had come through to tell James where that diamond bracelet was. So she said, it's in mother's shoe in the back of the closet, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's just sort of, um, it's so important to forgive our loved ones and, and just move on so that we're not repeating those patterns again and to let um, love come into that situation. You know, love is the supreme healing force of the planet. 
forgiveness and love, they both go hand in hand. So she has to learn to forgive her sister and understand that this was their journey together, that this is what happened. And if this happens again, when they come back again, they need to keep learning the same lesson together to overcome that. So maybe they can come back next time and not have this issue again. And they can just be sisters and, and not have to go through this and they've learned their lesson. So the next topic is karma. Um, this one's a little bit, um, this story is a little bit more harsh. Um, there were these three young men who were killed in a car crash when they were young. And their mothers all knew each other, and they really wanted to get a little understanding of what was going on um, and hear from their sons. So they went to James, and he brought through the three men. And what he told James, or what they told James, was that this was a karmic debt that had to be repaid. So these three young men were in war together in a previous lifetime, and they had a crash with civilians in that lifetime and they did not try and save them and so um it was an it was an unwanted it was a heartless karmic debt that had to be re re repaid so the three mothers now were able to understand the situation and they were understand that this this is what the boys had to go through through this was their journey they had to repay this debt from a previous lifetime so we need to bear in mind that karma is not a punishment. It's a way of managing our actions and reactions. Karma is also um, an educational tool to help us evolve spiritually and to balance out the results of our actions um, that we've generated. Um, so they want us to balance it out to harmony and love. And that's what karma is all about. So um, in conclusion, take responsibility for your actions. Blaming others only hurts us. So forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for blaming and not taking responsibility for that action. And remember that karma is a way of managing actions and reactions. It's not punishments. So I hope you enjoyed this session. And I will see you next 